freedom is what we have in this country. Thank you. And that's all I can say about it. If you take my ticket to Washington and tell Madam Pelosi that, I still have the right to say, nobody tells me how to live my life. Nobody tells me how I should, long I should live and when I should die. And you I sure will. We want to make sure that whatever happens in Washington, we do no harm, we don't turn this into socialized medicine, no rationing of care. But with that in mind, we improve the system and uh, make it so that people don't have to go bankrupt if they have uh, a terrible catastrophic illness. Congressman Steve Rothman held a town hall meeting on the government's plan to reform health care in Englewood Cliffs today. This was the fifth of ten proposed public forums. We have the best quality medical care in the world. And we don't want to agree. Rothman told the crowd at the Upper Middle School Gymnasium that he was still undecided about the proposed changes, but that he did support Medicare for all Americans. There are various health care proposals being discussed in Washington, and I have not committed myself to any of the various proposals that have been talked about. I, want to make sh I wanted to make sure that I heard from my constituents first. He also assured the crowd that Congress does not intend to nationalize or socialized medicine. I don't want nationalized health care, and I don't want socialized medicine. I don't want a system like England. I don't want us to have a system like Canada. The crowd was passionate, but showed greater restraint than Monday's crowd in North Arlington. Why can't we, as the taxpayers who are paying your salary, have the same benefit from Blue Cross, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, as you and the postman and everybody else does? Why can't no, we can't. We cannot subscribe to Blue Cross Blue Shield for that price. Rothman answered questions for over two hours. And then there will also be more changes as a result of these town hall meetings. I am also a physician. I've been practicing for 31 years. And I want to tell you it is harder and harder every day to practice good medicine because of the insurance companies. I would like you to address the corruption of the insurance companies. Rothman acknowledged that health care is one of the most important issues facing Americans today. People are excited about this issue and they're afraid and they're concerned, uh, so they're, they're going to get a uh, little excited and uh, they're going to be uh, a little loud. And that's okay. Uh, this is Thomas E. Franklin for NorthJersey.com.